Hello, welcome to episode 88 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand and One Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1942's Cat People, directed by Jacques Tournier, a French director and produced by American Val Luton, who produced many low-budget horror films in the 1940s, including this one. This film was so low-budget that they reused sets from other films, including Orson Welles' The Magnificent Ambersons. The staircase from that film is used in this one. Now, some real talk. This is about my sixth, and I'm not kidding, you're not exaggerating, this is about my sixth time recording this review. You can tell probably that my voice has been lost at this point. Um, I don't know what it is about this film that is so hard to talk about, but I just felt like I was treading water and just saying the same things over and over and over again, despite the fact that I was recording this review over and over and over again. And I feel like I can sum up this film pretty quickly and pretty simply, but I just couldn't seem to get to it. A 1942's Cat People. A 1942's Cat People. Cat People. Cat People. You can see the film and, and decide for yourself. Um, well, no, 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 no. And so, yeah, it felt like it was a little bit ahead of its time in terms of the suspenseful scenes as one in a swim, swim, is in the swimming pool and the lighting on the on the wall with the water and the it's really really interesting and no fuck was so low in budget that they reused sets from other films including the magnificent ambersons which it was an Orson Welles film fuck in hell so let's try again and let's just let's just be open and honest with this one and if I fuck up I fuck up and I'm going to keep it in because I haven't got time to be editing these long reviews where I just keep talking about the same shit over and over again right here we go Let's get this review done. Cat People is about this Serbian girl living in New York, a fashion designer, uh, and her name is Irena. And Irena um, meets and falls in love with this American guy called Oliver, and he has a friend called Alice, this girl, and there's kind of a love triangle going on there. But they fall in love very quickly, Oliver and Irena, this, this Serbian girl, and uh, he, see, he meets her in Central Park. She's sketching these panthers in the, the zoo, and uh, they have a quick romance, they get married, but they can't consummate the marriage because Irena has a very deep-seated fear that um, if she kisses the man that she loves, uh, if she gets intimate with the man that she loves, um, she is going to turn into a cat. Or more specifically, and perhaps a bit more menacingly, a panther. And it goes back to her hometown and the legend of the cat people. Uh, and there's a whole backstory there that she goes into and tells him about. And uh, what I loved about the film was that it's about this girl who thinks that she might turn into a cat. Um, but it takes that ridiculous concept and it makes it interesting. At no, at no point did I find the film laughable because of the plot. Um, because you can really look at it as this girl who is completely delusional. And they play off that. Oliver says, we need to get you a doctor. And even Irena herself says, yeah, get me a psychiatrist. Get me the best you can. I want to be rid of this fear that I'm going to turn into this, this cat. And... I love the way that it played out. I love the way that it played out and the suspense in, in a certain few key scenes was done very well. There's a scene where Alice, the other girl, is walking home one night and she's kind of afraid of the stories she's been hearing and she thinks someone is following her. And it's an incredible scene because it's so suspenseful, the lighting is incredible. I love 1940s films lighting. I mean the 30s lighting as well in the 50s but 1940s kind of film noir-esque lighting in this film. But it really helped the, the, the story and the fears that were being played on through, through the, the characters and this story that Irena had and whether it was true or not and uh, there's a great scene uh, in a swimming pool as well where Alice is swimming and she is afraid of this thing again that this 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 crazy story and the lighting playing off the ceiling with the water and the ripples but then there's the, the lights go out and the and then there's maybe this dark shadow that may or may not be a panther and you, you, you're trying to think is 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 now this other girl being infected by this fear and this paranoia, or is it real? You know, and there's the fantastical, there is this film noir element, this horror element, um, and I just, I really loved the film. I really, really did. Up until about the, maybe like three minutes before the end of the film, I was thinking to myself, is this film you must see before you die? And I thought, no, it isn't. It's, it's enjoyable, I, I really like it, but it's not an essential one. But by the time we got to the ending, you know, the, the story about whether it's a delusion or whether it's real gets resolved neatly uh, and uh, dramatically and also in a way that I found very satisfying. That last shot of the film I thought was brilliant. The way that it ended, was just, it just tied it all together perfectly for me. Um, but I felt like it was um, almost ahead of its time in some of the suspenseful scenes. And this is not an action-packed film. This is a very slow film at times. Um, well, it's not even slow, but I mean, the, the, the key story 
it is not really, you don't see much, you know, you, you hardly see anything. And when you get to the end of the film and perhaps something starts happening, uh, it, it's more about what you don't see, you know, and it gets, goes back to that old school of thinking about, you know, less is more. And a lot of people have praised the film because of that by using the shadows to kind of show you this this panther and, uh, and whether or not it's, it's there and things like that. Um, but other people have criticized it. John Carpenter, you know, one of the best horror directors of all time, has, has openly said that he thinks that this film is very overrated in terms of its use of the shadows and things like that, um, with the, the, the panther and the cat and things like that. I have to disagree. I thought it was very effective for the film that it was, and um, I think it is a film you must see before you die, because by the time I got to the end of that, that film, that, that final shot, I felt like it was a story worth telling. And I thought the performance from the lead actress, who was a French actress who played uh, Irena, was, was great because she showed this vulnerability, she showed a more sinister edge, but you weren't sure whether this sinister edge was coming from her, or coming from her fears, or coming from a, a, a true thing where she was being changed. And that, you know, if she was to kiss the man that she loved, she would turn into this, this animal. She would, she would go through a body transformation, and this primal animal instinct would cause her to kill and mutilate the man that she loves, uh, and, and whether that's true or not. I thought it was a really effective little film, I really enjoyed it, it was just a, a nice low-key, subtle kind of horror film. It wasn't over the top, and there's just loads of little things in it that kind of make you wonder, you know, what's real and what's not, and, and who is this girl, Very, a nice mystery to it as well. So there we go, I, I think that's about it, I can't think of anything else, the rest of the cast was fine, um, Alan Napier is in the film, uh, very briefly for about two minutes, he has a character early on in the film, and he played Alfred in the, ba in the 60s Batman show, and he's unmistakably Alfred, I mean it's 40 years before that, but he is unmistakably Alfred, the glasses, the moustache, uh, so that was fun for me as a Batman fan, but he... he bears little to no kind of uh, uh, impact on the entire film whatsoever, he's just there for, for a short while. Um, but I just enjoyed the feel of this, I, I enjoyed the story and then the performances and uh, and yeah, and by the end it was very, very satisfying. So it is a film we'll see before you die because you might find something interesting in it like I did. The use of uh, you know, the black and white cinematography and the, uh, the use of light and dark and shadows was just great in this film. Really, really enjoyed it and uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to leave on that one. I finally got it out. I felt like this was an okay review. Oh, man, i got so many videos to delete of me trying to talk about this film, and it went on for like 15 minutes. There we go. Cat people, check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you with the next video.